Okay, we're gonna go find the pinion, the pinion seal of the Toyota RAV4. There it is, rear differential. We're gonna come around here. Let's yeah, we'll, we'll go down here. Okay, let's go. Let's go down here. This is where it's at. We're in the the back left of the. SUV and then it is let me get that out of the way. Let me move. Slide that down like there, like uh we're gonna collect some ghosts. So there it is. It is right there. It's that silver big old contraption. There it is. So the pinion gear is actually oh shoot, I didn't mean to turn it. It is actually up there on the t on the top. The pinion uh, seal. It's around. It goes around that transmission shaft. That's uh, from the transmission. That shaft, I believe, it spins. And then inside there is all the um, gears and cogs that transmit the rotational force that goes horizontal here to the tires. Which so it um, each tire can spin at a different rate whenever you're going on going over terrain. It, it allows the tires to spin at different rates, to my understanding. Then the middle part it snaps in half. There's a um, a seal. But there's a round seal up here. You can see the it's black right there, that black ring. It's rubber. So that's it. That is the pinion seal mechanism. That's what was leaking. So it was leaking out uh, gear fluid, gearbox fluid, and it was just leaking out. And then they put on, there's two. One is right, where's it at? Right there, that, uh, a one inch, I believe one inch bolt uh, one inch uh, hex key goes in there. That's where you drain, either drain it there, or you, yeah, you drain it there and drain the fluid out. And on the other side, I'm gonna go over there. That, the other side is where you check, I believe it's where you check the fluid. So we're gonna take a trip over to the wild side. This is the back rear right area. Of this vehicular transportation the Toyota RAV4. So this is a muffler looking thing. This is a, uh, uh, it might be the uh, catalytic converter. I'm not sure. Put me right back here. All right, this is, this is the other side. Focus, there we go. And so you can see on top, that's where the, the seal is. It goes around that shaft. And there is a shiny part. Let me try to find it. There's a shiny part they put on. That's where they checked the. They put a new bolt on because the old one. Was, the old one was really uh, uh, corroded, like really corroded. Where is it? Ew. Uh, I won't find it here in a minute. Okay, we're back in here. You can see the shiny. Where's that? There it is. Look how shiny that is. Where you check the the level, the fluid level. We get the light just right. That's brand new. Yeah, that's the, and you can see that orange part. That's uh, a sealant. It's a gasket. It's like a gasket material, I do believe. Yeah, gasket material. And then up. All right here's where. Let me get this over. Yeah. See, that's the seal. There is all kind of fluid, grease, oil, gearbox oil. It's, I think it's like um, 60, 80, 60, or I don't know what the, oh, I do know, but it's the uh, the weight. You know how you have a WD, uh, 20W, zero, or 20W, the weight of the oil. It's like 80, 80, or 60. That ring goes all the way around. 
see where it's rusted. That's where the um, oil hung out for a while. A little pit pitting. Oil all the rest. But yeah, that's what they replaced. It cost four hundred dollars altogether because they had to do. Um, they charged it was at the dealership. They charge um, per hour. It took, it took like three hours. And so that's where most of the cost was, was the labor. The labor, oh. the labor cost. But the parts themselves, I don't know, 40, 30, 40, 50, 60 dollars, between 30 and 80. But, uh, so, it's, uh, it's a Toyota RAV4 2010. Great car, unbelievable car. It's just a majestic. It's just, it's 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 the perfect vehicle almost. It's almost, I mean, four hundred dollars. That's that's the most I paid. It's, it's thirteen years old. It's twenty ten, and this is twenty twenty three. So this is uh, <gasps> tires and brakes and oil, oil changes. <laughs> Maybe some suspension work every now and then, but other than that, it's a limited. It's been a great car, and I believe only another Toyota RAV4 will be my next car because it's just a phenomenal vehicular transportation. All right, um, I'm gonna continue to talk here. Let's. Uh, I kind of want to make like a movie, like an entire like two-hour movie worth of uh, just talking um, about how awesome. The Toyota RAV4 is, and uh, so anyway, uh, it's 2023. I'm just using this little um, light. You can charge it. This light source is pretty cool. Hit the side of it. It uh, you can put a USB C charger, I believe. I think it's USB C, if it, if it, or it's one of the old one. No, it's the old one. Yeah, it's one of the old micro micro usb charge on the left part back right there but then there's a usb that you can use okay um yeah so anyway this has been a i've been using lately everything i, I got my auxiliary got my auxiliary to work and i just had to buy this little um auxiliary adapter it goes right into the aux port i got a video doing that and then 